Hi everyone, Marcel here. Guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I am having a hard time believing we are already in December, but I'm not wasting any time. We are jumping right into the spread of Christmas cheer here on my channel. And today I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious cranberry Christmas cobbler. Um, this cobbler is relatively new to our list of holiday favorites around here, but it is here to stay. Um, it is one that we just love from the start and we're probably gonna make it a few times this month. And if you're a cranberry fan, guys, I think this will be a great new way for you to enjoy cranberry season. So go stock up on those fresh cranberries while they're available so you can make several handfuls of this cobbler yourself. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn you around. I'm gonna show you how to make this for yourself. Okay guys, so here are the ingredients we're gonna to use to make this delicious cranberry Christmas cobbler. So I don't have everything portioned out uh, because obviously this is a cobbler. We're gonna do this in two parts. We're gonna make a fruit filling and then we're gonna make a crust. So I'm gonna go over general ingredients here okay for the fruit filling obviously star of the show here i have three cups of fresh cranberries and you can see here i've just kind of given them a coarse little chop i did it on my cutting board i had the patience and the time to do that um but if you have a little handheld chopper or you have a small food processor just give them a couple quick pulses you're good to go this eight by eight inch pan is greased. I've got them in here resting. And to that, I'm gonna be adding half a cup of fresh blueberries, half a cup of sweetened shredded coconut, half a cup of toasted pecans, and that's gonna be our fruit filling. We will also be topping this with one cup of sugar when we get there. But I'm not gonna stress about the amounts too much because I'm gonna share as we go. All right, so for the crust, um, we are going to need some self-rising flour, one egg, uh, one third cup of canola or vegetable oil, and a little bit of vanilla extract. And then of course we're going to be needing some sugar. Um, and to the filling here, we're going to be adding a couple tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Um, and I know that's like a mouthful. This is already on my blog. So once we're done here with the demonstration, you can go right over there to a little fish in the kitchen and print this out for yourself. But all right, guys, that's it for the ingredients. We're gonna jump right on in to, to making this pretty little baby.
Okay guys, well, here is this heavenly smelling cranberry Christmas cobbler right out of the oven. I wanted you to see it's still bubbling, but here's this wonderful, it's a crisp but cakey um, topping and that fruit filling in there guys, it is sweet and tart and you get a little bit of an earthy richness from all the coconut and the pecans in there. And then you've got this sweet um, crust on top. It's just fabulous. I hope you give it a try. And um, I am gonna be waiting for this to cool down because I am certainly ready to have a slice. All right, guys, I just wanted to show off my shirt, spread the joy of Christmas. That is exactly my plan for the rest of December on this channel. I have lots of holiday themed and Christmassy goodies coming up to share, and I, as well as some just some good old fashioned savory comfort food recipes and a wing recipe, believe it or not. So I'm super excited about all those goodies. If you are new here and stopping by for the first time, I do hope you'll hit that red subscribe button and hang out while we're doing some delicious cooking here on the channel. And if you are one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much guys for all the support and the love, uh, you know, every for all of you that come and watch and support this channel. Uh, I am endlessly thankful for all of you. Thank you so much. It truly means the world to me. But all right guys, I hope you have a great evening and I will see you very, very soon in the next video.